lovely people of FoodTube, I'm gonna make this fantastic four cheese baked spirale. So delicious, so good. And with feed four people easy, so full of flavor, and so easy to make it. So first of all, let me tell you what the spirale is. Sometimes they call them a fusilli. Actually, it's curly pasta, which they can manage to get all the lovely salts and everything you cook for it. Let's put some salt inside. Here I got half a kilograms of spirale. Stir them a little bit because you don't want it to get the pasta stuck together. Let's come up to boil again, and then you remove the lid, and then let the pasta cook all up. Here I got 150 grams, the best welfare ham. It is fantastic because we know where we come from. So you cut them in a small cubes. If you're vegetarian, just take the ham out, use tomato. It's very good as well. I need to fry this one. So I need some butter in a pan. The butter will give a lovely, lovely colors to the ham when actually I'm cooking it. Let this cook until it's a little bit crispy and gold. Turn the gas down to make sure they don't burn. In the meantime, let's cut some fantastic cheese. You can use any kind of a cheese. This is the one I like it. But you go home, you got so much bits and pieces of cheese, use them all. Will work in fantastic as well. Let's get some taligio. Roughly about 80 grams of a cheese each. Cut them in small cubes because it's easy to melt it. Let's use some fontina. It's got a little bit of a bitterness inside. It is so nice. And then we come to the dolce latte. Dolce, it means sweet. Latte, it means milk, but with a kick. It's really, really, really good. Come with me, let me show you what I'm doing. Look at the lovely colors the ham has got. Now you add all the cheese inside. You have some pasta water to melt inside. Let me strain the pasta. The pasta is al dente, the way I want it. Always try to keep some pasta water. Just put them all inside. Now you have to mix him well. Make sure that cheese gets everywhere. Little bit of pepper inside. You can see I hardly used any salt because the cheese is quite salty. Right, I got this baking dish, which I'm gonna put some butter inside because I don't want it to get stuck when I put the pasta inside. Oh yes. Spread them all around nicely. At this stage, great about 60 grams of a parmesan. It saves some for the topping. Right, for the topping, 40 grams of shells walnuts. Chopped it up, not too fine, because I wanted the crunchiness, but also I want the taste, the flavor. Put them in a bowl, about 20 grams of a bread crumb, just handful. The remain of the 60 grams of a parmesan. Little drizzle of olive oil, mix all together, and spring them on top. What we're doing now, we bake them in the oven for about 20 minutes, 190 centigrade until it's nice and goldy on top. Yes. He talked to me. He said, I am ready. I am delish. I am good. It smells incredible. Look at that lovely crust. Boy, I'm cooking so good! This is so delicious! I can taste the mix of the cheese, the ham, the little bit of pepper, and the walnut. This is my baked four cheese spirale. I hope you enjoyed. It's incredible. If you want more of this fantastic recipe, try to grab my new Genova Contag food tube book. Wow, wow, wow! I love it! Look at all this one! Food tube pasta book. Like General Contact, General Contact, who is it? It's me! 
subscribe it is free do comments if you want me to cook something special just comment on the comment box and i will do it bless you